in that psalm, it says, the Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And then here's the key. Those and those who know your name will put their trust in you. And what does that mean? Does it mean those who know the label of God? Oh, his name in Hebrew is Yahweh. No, 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 no. It's not talking about God's name as a label, Jehovah, or something like that. It's talking about his character, his resume, who he is and what he's done. And if you know who God is, and you know what God has done, you will put your trust in him. But God's love is a love that needs to prompt us to love him back. Paul said it this way, we love because he first loved us. And when we understand the love of God, it's appropriate for us to thank him. And not just to thank him, but to, to, to want to give back to him. And so, so this idea of God summoning his power means that, that, that God in his wisdom in the right time is being called upon to work for us. Now, can I say that this sounds a little bit selfish? I mean, I ought to be saying, summon your power, O God, to infuse me with abilities to do for you. Yet we live in a world where all of us have a tendency to be trying to figure out how we take care of ourselves and our loved ones. The nice thing about that is God wants to take care of us. Think about the instruction Jesus gave to love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus even recognized we are to have a healthy love for ourselves. We are created by God for his good purposes and his good works, but to do those, we need to be who we can be. The key then is it's a good plea to say, summon your power, O God, by which you have worked for us. Because when we're who we can be, we best work for him. I think about all of the different ways that God has secured cured my life for me. And what can I do except be thankful and be joyful? And I may be at a place in my life or you may be at a place in your life where you feel kind of down. You just sort of feel like life isn't what you want it to be or you're, you're depressed. You're down in the dumps is the way to, to translate for me why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? That's biblical translation for, why are you so down in the dumps? Remember, when you were in the parade to God, singing and rejoicing at all the incredible things he's done in your life. If we'll do that today, it will transform us from being down in the dumps to making a joyful noise to the Lord. God will be faithful to love you. God will be faithful to forgive you. God will be faithful to guide you. God will be faithful to comfort you. God will be faithful to teach you. God will be faithful to rear you. God will be faithful to discipline you when that is what you need for your greater good. God is always going to be faithful in his commitment to you.